quite new. It's quite interesting. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, can I ask you, Michelle, how you came to the project and congratulations on a, a very beautiful performance. Your character is uh, very sensitive but also has a sort of steely core that we uh, admire. So uh, could you talk a little bit about how you came to the film and your preparation as an actor? to know what is it like for you when you're directing the action sequences and also performing in them? Well, firstly, I, I would like to say that I'm also very gentle. I've been action directing for quite some time. But this is the second time I'm working with Teddy, you know, it's been an honor, it's been a, a thrill for me as well, you know. Uh, first time we worked together was in Bodyguards and Assassin, this is the second time. So I try to, actually, I've been in the business for quite a while, right? and, uh, thank God you guys are not sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, I try to bring something new to every project, and like Teddy was saying, this project is, is something new. When he told me about this, uh, this whole thriller, suspense, uh, crossover with Kung Fu. I thought it was quite interesting, so I said, well, okay, let, let, let me give it a try. Like always, I, I try to be different every time. And is it challenging when you are taking a role in actually you know, choreographing the sequence, but also performing? No, actually, not at all. You know, I've been doing that for, for quite some time. You know, I think I've been uh, acting and directing for the last and uh, one of the things that I uh, would tell the audience was also appreciating this dedication at the end of the film to all the great heroes of Hong Kong action cinema and uh, many of them of course have little moments throughout the film and you, uh, what sort of approach did you have to make to involve all of them in this way? Uh, actually, uh, when I was 17, I got into the business. Uh, I've been working as a, as a community, as an assistant director, as a, a producer, a production manager. I've been working on a lot, a lot of action films, and I saw them, uh, heard, and saw them keep on uh, hurting themselves. And at, at, at that time, it's, it's not that much green screen or special effects to help. So, uh, and uh, it's a bad thing to me. And uh, one of my film uh, called uh, uh, Downtown Torpedo. And there's an explosion scene, and somebody get killed on uh, an action scene. So, this keeps deeply in, in my heart, in my mind, in my soul. Uh, I have to do something to get into these people, these great people. Now that you know the director, you know the stars, but you don't know the zero behind the screen. So, this is And uh, I ask you, uh, production of this kind takes uh, a very big, uh, is a very big undertaking with many people influencing the outcome. Uh, we know you're a big film lover yourself as well, and I imagine that uh, you share the, the passion for these, um, uh, for these acknowledgements at the end. But can you give us a bit of a sense of what it takes now in Hong Kong to make a film of this kind? Well, it's, uh, it's very difficult. It's not easy. Hong Kong has been known for its action films. But I think over the last few years, I think uh, it's becoming a bit more difficult. Uh, so 
so a point of analysis, you know, I don't think that we can really do it nowadays without you know, the participation of like Johnny, um, Kelly, and so on. You know, uh, it's a um, uh, great tribute to, to some of the you know, people who've been working in the film industry in Hong Kong. And a lot of names, I think, you will see you know, in other films. But today, you, know, you see them on the screen. I think it's, it's a great, great tribute. <laughs> Was how difficult was it to get everybody involved in the production? Well, actually, it's, it's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> what you know is the dedication to all these people, of the people behind the screen, they all come. They all come. Uh, some of them, actually, I, I shouldn't be in the first, I'm, I'm the first one who comes in. There is another director, but he's, I don't know, he has, some, he has something to do on, on, on this movie. So, you can't show up, so uh, I'll replace it. <laughs> Hi, uh, buddy. I just want to say uh, thank you for being such an inspiration. I know that many martial artists in the cinema today have been inspired by your work and also by uh, your martial skills. So just to uh, thank you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the question is about the evolution of Donnie's skills and what direction does he see uh, those skills going in, I think. Well, um, I think ultimately it's, it's all about the character. If the audience love what you uh, portray, if the audience falls in love with your character, it follows your emotion. So sometimes, Thank you. 